Hi, I'm Mike Gridley and welcome to Power Boat Television. This week we're in Gravenhurst, Ontario on Gull Lake to see the return after 16 years of outboard racing. When we arrived, there were plenty of teams set up in the dry pits, so we spent some time checking out the range of hydroplanes and the classic outboards powering some of them. As we circulated, we caught up with Jordan Elliott, president of the Toronto Outboard Racing Club. So Toronto Outboard Racing Club has been a club that's been around since 1952. And we're comprised mainly of uh, volunteers that uh, it's a not-for-profit organization. And we generally try and work with charities so that any of our racing proceeds can go to a nice charity. Uh, for instance, this year uh, we're raising money for the Tim Hortons Children's Foundation. And at this event, we're hoping to send a couple of kids to camp. So it's just volunteers and families working together uh, towards a sport that we enjoy. The boats, we have uh, a range of uh, racing hydroplanes and runabouts. We also have a class called T750 class, which are comprised of Voodoos, Critchfields and Deltas. Uh, the Voodoos are like a fiberglass uh, V-hull about 14 feet in length with 75 horsepower motors on them. Uh, we also have drag boats out here now that are like STV ri River Rockets and uh, other boats like uh, of that nature, longer tunnel hulls, generally 21 feet in length, or V-hulls like the Allisons with 2.5 liter Mercs on them and stuff like that. So our, our hydroplanes and runabouts are just, uh, they're great little boats. Uh, people can build them in our garage and that's really how a lot of people start off racing and a lot of people race there their whole career. Um, you can build with your, you know, with your family. I started building boats with my father uh, in our garage at home. And that's a good part of what makes this sport so fun is you can spend just a little bit of money and uh, spend some time with family building boats and, and working on competitive outfits. There's lots of plans available um, to build these boats. So for a, a relatively low budget, you can put a racing package together for about under $3,000. While we're in the pits, the boats in the first race class, 20 Superstock Hydro, headed out to the course. After warming up, the field rounded turn four and the race was on. It was just a blast watching these hydroplanes power down the straights at 65 miles per hour and slide through the turns on the edge of control. One of the really exciting classes was demodified hydro, featuring highly modified mercuries. With the power available from these modified motors, these hydroplanes exceeded 80 miles per hour on the course. But not every class of boat was super fast. After all, this is a family sport. In Gravenhurst, there were no better examples than the drivers of number 113 and 65, 16-year-old Gail and 13-year-old Maley Bergeron from Quebec. Later in the show, we'll have more outboard raising from Gull Lake in Gravenhurst, Ontario. Welcome back to the Muskoka Power Boat Races. Muskoka has a long, passionate affair with power boat racing. And during this year's return event, a piece of the area's history was also enjoying her first day back in town. Uh, Miss Canada 4 is 33 feet long, uh, about 10 foot 6 wide, and uh, was powered by a Rolls-Royce Griffin aircraft engine uh, from the 1940-1950 era. Uh, the horsepower when the Wilsons raced the boat was about 3,000 horsepower. The boat was built by the Gravette Boat Works uh, in the uh, winter of 48 and 49, and interesting from, in a history point of view, uh, the Gravette Boat Works built all of the Wilson Racing Team boats. Miss Canada 4, which we see behind me, Miss Canada 3, Miss Canada 2, and of course there was a Miss Canada 1. 
What's exciting about today being at the Gull Lake Boat Races done by the uh, Toronto Outboard Racing Club is that Miss Canada 4 is now back in Gravenhurst where the boat was built by the Gravette Boat Works in 1948 and 1949. It's the second time uh, the boat's been in daylight since uh, 1990 when it was put into the Chazen Agricultural Museum in Ingersoll. So we're really excited to be here today. Uh, we wanted to support this event. Next up on the agenda were the B Classic Hydros, a part of racing history based on engines that date back to the 50s. Back then you could drop into a dealer and order one with a corn popper exhaust which give them their unique sound along with a racing lower unit and prop. As a bunch of hydros crossed the start line, the sound was awesome. It was quite amazing that these 50-year-old outboards were pushing the boats to 68 miles per hour. Next up were the T-Class runabouts that pulled off an incredible start as the start clock ran down. These guys set a blistering pace of 75 miles per hour while riding on the edge of control. But sometimes when you push it, the inevitable happens. Fortunately, this driver and boat were both okay. Now this weekend's mostly been about wood and old outboard motors, but there is one constant, and that's speed. So up next is fiberglass with big mercury power for drag boat racing demos. And the crowd was certainly ready for these bad boats. The first two STBs up had different horsepower, so a staggered start was used. Run after run, these 350 horsepower performance boats top 100 miles per hour at only 800 feet. quiet has settled back over Gull Lake again in the park here. It's been an absolutely amazing day. Hope you had as much fun watching it as we had being here. It's amazing to think that a boat this small from wood with a motor like this can provide so much excitement.